All right, Eric, uh, thank you. We are uh, bringing in uh, Jonathan Wachtel. He's a former director of communications and spokesperson at the United States Mission to the United Nations. Uh, just your thoughts right now on just all everything that's happening here. We're reporting of what's happening there in Poway, California, just outside of San Diego. You still have an active uh, situation in, in Sri Lanka. And we're six months away uh, off from the um, six months out from the Tree of Life synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh. What are your thoughts, Jonathan? Arthel, this is terrible, not just, you know, for the individuals who are victims of this uh, attack. And we don't know who the perpetrator is or are. Uh, we don't know, you know, that information. Hopefully we'll know soon. But the result is this human tragedy that affects those injured or, uh, you know, we hope no one's been killed here. And the families, these are lifelong injuries and issues that they have to deal with. And for the country as a whole, these incidents have to resonate with every American. This is utterly unacceptable. We're supposed to be an evolved, you know, wealthy country that is supposed to be showing the rest of the world our greatness and our ability to be a nation of diversity and, and tolerance. This is an embarrassment for all of us to, to have this happening in our own backyards, just north of San Diego, California. It's utterly appalling. And, and Jonathan, I, uh, we have reported that there has been one death, uh, one person, uh, apparently a worshiper, uh, shot to death in this uh, apparent attack that the uh, mayor of Poway, Steve Voss, is calling a hate crime. Uh, and we've seen the, the rise of this type of language. Uh, uh, just a moment ago, Peter Levy of the Anti-Defamation League indicating that the number of anti-Semitic attacks uh, ha has increased to what he said basically is a new record. Uh, just a sad commentary on where we are today. It, it really is. It's, it's depressing. It's a sign of the times. We should be past this type of thing. It's based on ignorance and evil that this type of thing happens. It doesn't matter whether it's a synagogue, a church, a mosque, a Buddhist temple, whatever. We're, we're a country that is supposed to be accepting of everybody. We're, we're, we're such a wonderful mix of human beings. We should be living in a world of tolerance, not hideous acts of violence like this that claim a life, as you said, Eric. It's, it's utterly appalling. And how do we, as someone who's been in politics and government and journalism for a long time, uh, what is our first priority? What should we tackle first? And how do we change that conversation? The, the guest before uh, from the ADL spoke of, about uh, tolerance and, and ignorance. I think it's it absolutely first and foremost uh, important to get the message out that we shouldn't be having these attitudes amongst ourselves, whoever this is. We, you know, we'll find out the, the origin, but this type of activity should not be part of our language. It should not be part of our culture. It's totally unacceptable. And that starts with education. That starts, as, as I heard the guests say, you know, children are not born being bigots. Uh, this, this has to change, and there has to be greater emphasis put on tolerance, on understanding one, one another. So often, you know, we hear things said about other religions or other cultures, you know, as we walk our days, Arthel and Eric, that, that, that we feel appalled about when we hear it. And it's our moral responsibility as citizens of this great country to educate those people if we hear things like that or not just laugh it off as if it's you know not important well the truth is this type of ignorance leads to killing and and uh, we all have a moral responsibility to stand for the values that we believe in yes it comes down to education and schools outreach from various groups to try to ensure that no one misses the important messages that society is supposed to be given but if we hear it, we have to, as, as human beings, as kind human beings, as evolved human beings, need to confront this ourselves. It's all of our responsibility. Jonathan Wachtel, uh, Jonathan, always good to have you. Very well said, and you have basically uh, laid out uh, a task and a responsibility for all of us. Thank you. Thank you.